The Dow sees its longest downstretch since 2008. Hello, this is Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Tuesday, August 2nd, 2011, and the markets are down significantly. Big drops. Dow down 266 points, down 2.2%. The S&P down 2.56%. The Nasdaq down 2.75%. The Russell's down 3.25%. This is a bloodbath. Banks down more than 2%. VIX only up 4%. This is not confirmed. What we have here is a 2 to 3 point drop. We should have at least had three times this. So we should have seen a 6 to 7% pop in the VIX. Volatility did not spike as expected. Big pop here in gold, up 2.41%, reaching yet another all-time high. We have silver up. We have the U.S. dollar slightly up. And we have crude oil down 2.15%. Look at this big symmetrical triangle. Yesterday, we flirted with a major trend line. Today, boom, downward, all the way down, 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 and even cracked a support area at 1257, closing at 1254. Big drop today. It, this is one of the largest drops we've seen in a long, long time. If you remember back a few videos ago, I said volatility should start spiking. We should see huge uh, jumps. Be expecting 200, even 300 point moves in the markets. We have a 266 point move already. So this here, gang, could be the crack in the ice. We're going back a long way. We have this big symmetrical triangle, a major drop, and all sorts of confirmations. If you look down, let me show you this. If you look down at the MACD histogram, we cross down, 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 and we our tick on the histogram has gotten a lot larger. So it's hard telling how far this may drop. Now the trend TRIN closed at 4.44%. That is a uh, or wait, no, the trend. Let me look over here at 4.49. For this is a huge, huge trend reading, very bearish. To get two trend readings over two two days in a row does not happen very often, but we have it now. With that, does give us a chance of a rubber band effect happening right here. So at the end of the day, I stopped out of a lot of longs today, coming down. Took a little bit of a hit as we went down here. What I did was ended up buying some longs just in case the markets are going to rubber band back some because we are very extended here in the markets. Let me show you the weekend. We have a weekly uh, triangle here that went into a rising wedge. This rising wedge now is breaking down out. We do have support at 1250. We're knocking at the door of that 1250. Be watching that. A lot of support areas coming up at 1225 and also these moving averages. And then on the monthly, the monthly is sitting at a major support line. This is what gives me hope that we, the markets could rally here and could start back higher. So I am not one to say it's time to go short yet. However, when you look at this, on the short term time frame, it is okay to be looking at shorts. And, but I expect there to be some turbulence. I expect there to be a pop here. If this drop heads back up in the next few days and breaks above this trend line again, I am long 100% at that moment because this will be a jab and it will heal itself and there's a huge chance of a major correction uh, going the other direction, a major pop taking place. However, if anybody downgrades us, if any of the agencies downgrade us, this, expect this type of activity on an ongoing basis to the downside. So I'm not trying to spread fear, the reality is the technicals have been broken 
across the board here you have to be very careful this would be can if those still in cash thank your lucky stars <laughs> you are very blessed to be in cash at this moment for those longs like i was long here when we pop made that higher high and i had to stop out and i'm glad that i did because today's drop was a nasty one i did reload some longs here hoping for a bounce not sure if we'll get it thing bodies in motion tend to stay in motion and we certainly have this matter of fact at the end of the day volume was increasing with a with a downward move on the stock index futures just shows the power of this movement to the downside so you have to be very careful here. So should you be short at this moment? Not yet. Why? Because we have a major trend line here on the monthly that can serve as nice support. The weekly says, hey, we broke it, but we do have some support coming at 1250, 1225, and moving averages. And we have the daily that's saying we have a little bit of support at 12.50 also. All right, there you have it. Spread this video to your friends, and I'm going to be teaching a class tomorrow night. It's free. All you have to do is click on calendar. Once you click on that calendar, get registered. Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. Very safe trading to each and every one of you out there in trader land.